Welcome to part two of the Weights and Biases model registry walkthrough. In part one, we talked about how to log your model checkpoints to Weights and Biases and link them to the model registry. Now let's show how consumers can access these models, evaluate them, build reports, and automate downstream processes. Here in my model registry, I have a variety of models to inspect and consume. Today, I'm going to be pulling down the review summarization model doing some further processing, running inference, and building a report on the results. You can see we have one model linked under this registered model, and it's been aliased with staging, indicated that this model is ready for further processing. If I go and view details, I can see the model card with background description, summary, and information about how to load the model into memory. I can also see an action history of all past actions that people have done on this registered model, like linking new models or changing aliases. Going to the staging version, I can inspect all the metadata about it just like I could in the artifacts tab. To consume a model, all I need to do is use this snippet of code, which references the name of the registered model and a specific alias version that I want to pull down. Once I've retrieved the artifact, I can simply download it into whatever environment I'm in. In this notebook, I've copied that snippet of code with a few modifications. I've initialized a run with the specific project. I've retrieved the artifact using wandb.useArtifact, passing in my team entity, the model registry for that team, the name of the registered model, and the staging version. Finally, I download that to this root directory. Now that the model is downloaded, I want to further process the model. Some common next steps would be things like quantization or model format conversion, depending on where and how you're deploying your model. In this line, I'm converting the model to make it more efficient for inference, and then creating a new artifact for the quantized version, adding the directory of the quantized weights, and then linking that artifact to the review summarization registered model. This time, I'm adding an alias of quantized to indicate this is the quantized version. With the quantized version now loaded into memory, I can now run inference on it against a test set. Here I have a couple of prompts I'm going to run through the model, and I'm logging these prompts as part of a weights and biases table, which is a flexible data frame that lives in the weights and biases workspace. And finally, we can query any assets and weights and biases through the import export API. This allows us to easily access run data, artifact metadata, or anything about our pipeline. We can just instantiate an API object access artifacts through their names and aliases, and then we can walk the artifact DAG by getting runs which log these artifacts, their summaries, other checkpoints, and artifact metadata, filtering them, and in general, printing and accessing anything that we need. This is very convenient if you'd like to automate access of the model registry in C downstream CI-CD processes. So now let's take everything we've done and build a report. Remember what we've done here is we've registered a model. We then, in a notebook, retrieved that model, quantized it, ran inference, and recorded some results. All of this can be quite messy to deal with if you don't keep track of it in a central place. Luckily, we kept track of everything along the way in weights and biases. If I go to reports, I can create a living document to house everything about my registered models. With the forward slash, I can add in all sorts of information to contextualize this report. The first thing I'm going to do is bring in the model registry panel. Here we have the panel directly embedded into the report where I can access all the different versions. Next, we can add a panel grid where we can import panels from different runs. Things like the test table of prompts, or even just higher level summary metrics 
of our evaluation. And all of this is dynamic. So this report will update as I continue to run evaluation runs. I can, I can also filter and group these runs as I see fit. If I have other registered models, I can bring in those runs from those projects. This is a great way to consolidate results across different efforts in your company and avoids the anti-pattern of creating PowerPoints and Word docs, which can easily run stale. Already, we're starting to see a complete set of documentation relevant to our production models. These reports can be very powerful, whether it's to document the model evaluation process or your research efforts. This one goes into more detail about the training process, latency of data as models go through quantization and further optimization, and sample predictions of the model so that subject matter experts or other colleagues can look over results. But we may want to automate this entire process, whether that's the automated reporting of results or the automated deployment or quantization of your models. This too is possible with the model registry. Going in and viewing details for a particular model, you'll see the automation section. An automation is an action which occurs when a certain event happens in a registered model, such as when a new version is added or when an alias is added, such as when the production alias is added to a particular version. Let's say when a new model is added to the review summarization model, we want to trigger either a launch job or a webhook post request to some external system. A launch job is a containerized job that can be executed in various different compute environments. Useful for model evaluation, model retraining, or heavy compute requirements. Webhooks is helpful for handing off models to external systems like CICD tools, such as GitHub Actions. If I select the webhook, I can choose the GitHub Actions webhook or any other generic post request webhook that I configure. Here I just add in the payload for the post request. I can add in template strings to bring in context from the model registry to pass through into the payload. And with that, I can name and describe my automation. And now when new models get linked, this webhook will trigger. You can combine the model registry with your existing tool sets like GitHub Actions so that when new models get links linked or artifacts get added, you can automatically build your containers, test your models, quantize them, or even deploy them. In summary, with the Weights and Biases model registry, you can facilitate easy handoffs between ML engineering and ML ops, build reports to show off to management and stakeholders, and provide a complete system of record for the model development lifecycle. To learn more or try it out yourself, please visit this link here.